All right, so how we doing? Hope you're all staying safe. Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. I am loving this game. I think we're on like part six right now, aren't we? If my editing calculations are correct. But anyways, I'll like support. Keep it up if you want more of this game quickly. Plotting uploading this each day with some other stuff. Just trying to like uh, explore the game a little bit. We haven't started flying yet, which I'm excited for. Anyways, here we go. Go ahead and just jump to the main menu. The load times on PS5 have gotten better with a lot of games recently. Like, look at this. The fact that we went from the main menu to the opening screen to now this. All right, open quest log. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, so we just did the uh, the plant stuff in the last video. Let's see. That's right. I went and got some tacos. <laughs> I actually did that. Uh, all right. Let's just track this one. We're going to do pretty much every quest that pops up. As long as the uh, support of the series has been good, I'm going to keep uploading it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Somebody asked me my favorite Harry Potter movie. Oh, let me make sure I'm going the right way. I think it's gonna take me back up. Yeah. I keep forgetting you can go through that. Didn't look like a door, did it? Imagine how inconvenient that yeah, my favorite Harry Potter movie. If I had to pick one, oh, I'm trying to think because I think Prisoner might be mine. That was always just so well done. You had Gary Oldman in the movie. I don't know. I think that was the right one. Yeah, the Chamber of Secrets. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. The very f okay, now the very first one, I thought was iconic, because all the characters are just like, for them like, you kind of watch them grow up throughout the movies, you know. This is taking me like the roundabout way. It must be loading. There it goes. Look at us outside. Look at this. Hold on. That's where they do the. Uh, with all the broom, I always forget the name of the actual game that they play. I think that's the right area. So we're actually running around outside now. It's cool, so we can fast travel wherever. But when we go to these new quests... Uh, this one's kind of far away, isn't it? Hold on, let me see. Should I just... Because this is taking me all the way... Oh, I'm just supposed to go over here. Interesting. Let's go to the world map really quick, because I think this... Yeah, I think I can just fast travel, can't I? Set waypoint. I guess not. That's it. So we actually just have to go on foot. Never mind. But yeah, enjoying this game a lot. I just feel like it's crazy. This like okay, the scores on it. First off, or uh, like amazing. I didn't expect it to get that high, but I think it's one of the best like Hogwarts games ever made. Well, not Hogwarts, but I guess Harry Potter with all. Oh, let me go ahead and get these. Cause like the last one I remember was like, it's like on one of the old consoles. Then you had Harry Potter, the Lego games, which I don't think that really counts. Cause it was just the movies, wasn't it? It was like, I don't know if it's all of them. It was some of them at least. I feel like there's probably another way to get to this quest that I'm not doing, but it's all good. This just kind of takes us the back road. So we got the owls right there. Let's see. Oh, I thought there was something else in the background floating. I didn't know what that was at first. I didn't realize this game was just so well produced until I was editing the videos. I was looking at all the detail on the walls, all the different characters. When you choose like your house in the beginning. I chose wizard, by the way. I'm fully aware like what goes to what, but I just, I don't know. I just want to just pick something random. Have fun with it, you know? All right, we're almost there. Hey, buddy. I can't feed him. <laughs> Getting some Skyrim vibes right now. This is pretty cool. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I'm surprised they make you run all the way out here. It almost felt like I was supposed to get on like a... Some kind of transportation or something. I don't know. All right, here we go. We finally made it. It is good to see you, my friend. Now we got it unlocked. On okay. Another adventure, are we? Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I'm going to say... They want something I found, yeah. They I'll want be truthful. something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. 
When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. All right, Sam, glad to hear it. What if I that troll? I just forgot about that. It was like in part three. All right, this could be dangerous. I'm just going to say this. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on I your like guard. her character a lot. All right, let me double check this. I just want to make sure that now we have this unlocked. Set waypoints. Currently unavailable. Okay, it's because we're Friend. still doing stuff. Let's see. We're going to explore this area for a minute. What's going on here? Uh-oh, hold on. All right, so that quest is now complete. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Talk to Arn really quick. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm gonna ask each thing. Here we go. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Are you a painter? Hmm. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. All right, I should keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. All right. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. I'm going to probably stick to the critical path a little bit because I would like to 
kind of see what happens with the main story because I feel like those missions all right we got potions class which I should have just done this and then we got the trial of Mer oh trials of Merlin here we go I right, help the stranger but mommy Archie, oh it's right I here have time to argue I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home especially when I'm inside with your little sister all right time to steal some stuff let's go we got a vendor right here. We got some uh, oh, that's loot back here. We're going to take this. Goblin banker at Gringotts. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, mummy. Man, there's a lot of stuff back here. Kind of feel bad just taking everything. But that's the name of the game. <laughs> Revenia. I've had the urge to. Uh, Go back and play, not play, but like, well, actually, yeah. Like, if I was going to play, like, something that was based off, like, the movies, I guess, like, the Lego game might be the best one. Because <laughs> doesn't it have, like, all the movies? I remember when the, God, I think it was the first or second book came out. We were on vacation as a family. I was, like, really young then, obviously, but my sister waited in line to get the book. She bought all of them. And I didn't know what Harry Potter was at the time. And from her, I learned, like, everything. <laughs> they must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man. Really? Trying to make quick work of you. Set him on fire because why not? That was pretty cool. Put me back there. Where are you going? <laughs> I was gonna about to do a missile drop kick right there. That was sick. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. All right, time to duel. All right. A duelist. Collection section of your field guide. Updated new enemy type. Valuable insight on enemies, such as their weakness to certain spells. Okay. I guess, okay. Well, I guess the weakness is just throwing a rock. I need to craft. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Oh, I need to be careful. Hold on. That actually almost reached. There we go. Yeah, I'm uh, low on HP right now. Next chance I get him a craft or anything. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. All right, let's go ahead and ask the question and then research how interesting. Okay. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hardworking Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. All right. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. 
chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Uh, seems a bit tedious. How fascinating. I like this one. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Hold on, let me, uh... This trunk. Let me check something really quick. So... I'm just gonna look and see what my collections is. Actually, the inventory as well. All right, so it's actually looking because I saw I picked this up. I didn't know if it actually did anything different. It doesn't look like it does. Just changes like the color of it. All right. As far as gear goes, we have well this. Now hold on. This says so extraordinary is actually. I'm not really sure like the rarity tiers in this game, but it seems like this one's better. But we'll keep it. How about this? Yeah, we'll just go back to this and we'll change the appearance to where it doesn't have any kind of effect. I think that's cool that they have the transmog already. Alright, so the only... So these are technically better than the green. But the thing is, I don't have any mods. So while this helps a little bit right now, these would be better in the long run. Which, in the end of the game, I don't think any of this is going to matter anyways. But I just want to see what we have. Oh, it actually looks clean. Yeah, so I think it goes green, blue, and then purple, and then legendary, which is like an orange color. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised we got this sort. I think it was like part of the deluxe thing or something. All right, here we go. Even if you already have some. Let's go ahead and search this. I have the mellow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. All right, sorry for the weird cut. All right, here we go. My word, did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is no, uncharted it's... territory. I am curious about these pyres. Let's check out these vines, I guess. So maybe we gotta light this on fire? Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. That's what it seemed like you're supposed to do, at least. Flame's gonna go out. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. So solve the trials, what we're supposed to do here. Alright, let me scan the area really quick. So we have this. Hold on, let's go over here. Go and collect these. The leeches. Alright, we got one there, one there, one there. I'm guessing all three have to be lit. Right? Incendio. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Maybe we have to, I don't know if there's like a certain order. It's so tricky after all, Merlin. Man, this, how beautiful. What 
What a day. I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. That's a pretty cool and quest. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right, quest complete, Trials of Merlin. I think the next quest is actually way back. All right, different challenges offer different rewards. Complete Merlin tri uh, Trials. Uh, or try. It just says Merlin Trial. <laughs> All right. Looks like we can go back. Hold on, there's a chest over here. Revelio. I was not going to scan that far. Hold on. Almost feel like I need the light. We got. Is this. Ooh. Revelio. Oh, it's level one locked. That's why. Okay. We haven't got that unlocked yet. Let me check out the shop back here and then we'll roll out. Uh, go back to the I main castle to area. Goblin banker at Gringotts. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. All right, let's see what we got over here. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. All right, uh, any rumors about... I don't think these really help you at all. I'm just going to see what this. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? All right, ingredients. Um, I needed some potions, but... Thought I could craft them pretty soon. Alright, let's see. Ingredients we got also. We can sell some gear. Which I'll sell I'll have the ones no I'm not really using, this. I guess. Thank you. Focus potion. So this is a stack of two. So okay, this says a potion enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Spell damage and then just the health. I need some of these, so I'm gonna buy like. Well, let's see if it. Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. So that's all he has. Okay, never mind. I think buying ingredients seems a little I like you again I shouldn't sometime. do that. You know. Okay, I think we're good. I think I can fast travel back. I didn't haven't seen this at night time though. Let me go ahead and check it out. See so what we got over here. I just want to get a glimpse. It looks really well done. I bet on PC it looks amazing too. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can fast travel back. All right, we're actually going back right where we need to go. How convenient. Now that we've come out to this area, we can actually go back to it at any point. All right, we're good to go. Attend potions class. I feel like I should have done this one first because I kind of needed some, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this room. All right, here we go. Wait, what? You have to hit it twice, okay. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. 
You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Just a little bit more. There we go. A couple drops. There we go. To her cauldron. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. That was funny how the last quest I was actually trying to figure out in the middle of combat, like, how do I craft? And I'm like, it's gotta be a way. All right, at least we got a potion My now. Hold on. considered keeping me home from school this year after the- Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Rebellion. Let's go in here and collect stuff. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. It's like, is this technically stealing? I don't know. Remember, precision is key. Can I just collect everything? All right, we got the eggs. Uh, let's see. There's the feather. Revenia. Got everything in here. We got oh, we got a chest and we got this. Follow. Uh, further instructions to follow. Okay. <gasps> we might have just got an upgrade that looks like something promising. Hold on. Wish it was a gear uh, quick command. All right, our first piece of neckwear, which it actually looks nice. Okay, and it's got a mod slot, which I guess I can't really use. None of these really upgrade. Now this one looks nice. Almost looks like a sword. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Man, once we get some mod stuff, I'm gonna, yeah, no trade applied. I mean, you can't really add anything to it yet. I don't think we're quite that far into the game just yet. But that will come with time. Here we go. A well-prepared Witcher Wizard always has a few potions on her. Here's the Fwooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Alright, let's go do this other one. Here we go. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. It says brewing time. Okay, 30 seconds, one yield bottle. Okay, or yield is one bottle. Uh, all right. So you just gotta wait. That's it. I wonder if you can back out while it's doing it. Oh, it shows the, the timer still. Nice. Sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh oh, there you go. Get it. <laughs> oh. 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 
Garen done? What happened? <laughs> well done, Garen. That was pretty cool. All right. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm gonna say sorry about that. Yeah, I'll just say that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right, I'm glad we can craft potions now. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Quests complete. Three to six. All right, we should level up. There we go. Level eight. So we got two other quests that popped, or maybe not two. Let's see. Well, I just said quest. Little symbol popped up. All right, so we got question marks. I'm assuming these other ones won't really help us progress the actual main story because there's nothing here yet. We gotta go talk to the professor, oh, I think. My robes are going to reek from Garrus' inspiration for the rest of term. Maybe we'll actually like, like leave the classroom first and see maybe something pops up afterwards. Here it so goes. Nicholas, our house ghost is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Off on another adventure, are we? Headless Nick, okay. Oh, right here. Oh, actually, no, it's on the other side. I gotta admit, oh, look at this. Everything about this game is just... It's like they thought everything through. They said, how can we impress people with having stuff from all the movies? You know, obviously it's like an original story and all that, but it's still... This is like the loading screen. Interesting. So it has to like load the area. Although you don't really... Wait a minute. Rebellia. Oh, it's down below me. Okay, I was like, where's this chest at? We'll get it later. Guessing that does something later on in the game, or maybe it does something now. I just don't know what it is just yet. There we go. Fast travel point unlocked. Let's get it. That's pretty cool how they do everything. Even the waypoint system is like mystique. <laughs> All right, we're heading up here. So I'm a okay. Rebellion. Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? That was an interesting class. Hang on. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Hold on, she was studying. Can't wait to see what you brew up. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own brews. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Ah, uh, see. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Uh, I'm gonna just say... 
Yeah, it's like every time he asks me to do something, it seems like wrong. I'm gonna say the, uh, hold on. Couldn't you have someone buy the dry billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Alright, here we go. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. 